Hi guys, so I wanted to point you in the direction of this story. So when we think about the essential services or products we need, there are certain industries that are allowed to open to uh, force their employees back into work because it's necessary for the general public to have these products and services in order to survive during the lockdown. Now, some um, industries have been asking uh, and putting pressure on politicians to be allowed to be uh, regarded as an essential service or to allow them to reopen their factories and businesses. So this tweet here is from Jennifer Jacobs. It says, Trump plans to order meat processing plants to stay open, declaring them critical infrastructure under Defence Production Act. Now, the Defence Production Act is an act that was um, was used during the Second World War in order to force companies to produce materials necessary for the war effort. For example, tanks, airplanes, uh, helmets, things like this. And during this crisis, it's been used again to force companies to um, produce, for example, ventilators or masks or PPE in order to deal with the current crisis. So it says, order uh, meant to stave off shortage of beef, chicken, eggs, pork. Plant closures could have um, could have shut down as much as 80% of capacity, the source says. It goes on to say, Trump executive order will mandate various uh, meat, egg, processing plants to stay open. Trump has signaled in Oval, in the Oval Office. Minutes ago, he'd sign an executive order aimed uh, today aimed at Tyson Foods liability. The order, though not uh, limited to Tyson, I'm told. So this is Donald Trump uh, attempting to use an executive order to, uh, re- to stipulate that Tyson Foods, for example, it's a large corporation that produced meat products in the U.S., processed meat products in the U.S., um, that they be regarded as a critical industry, something that's necessary to be to remain open. Um, now, is Donald Trump doing this because he's addicted to junk food? Well, perhaps, but I think the the real picture here is that Donald Trump is corrupt, and he's received a lot of pressure. I don't know if it's money, but at least it's pressure um, from large corporations to reopen the economy again, to start uh, things running, to go back to the way things were. Now, this is a huge problem because many workers who work in these plants don't have the don't have really any workers rights. Many of them don't have a union. They don't have anyone to protect them. They, uh, they certainly won't have any protective clothing while working in these plants. And also there is a huge risk of um, contamination, of spread from these plants. Many scientists are saying these plants should have been closed down years ago because of the risk of um, virus uh, contagion and um, general uh, lack of hygiene and uh, uh, disruptive and... Uh, dangerous practices that exist within these meat plants. So the idea that they should be opened exact in proper in uh, sorry at this exact moment is absurd and, uh, and insane and and criminal because you have these plants that are a huge risk of maintaining the contagion of this virus. You have people who are working there who don't have protections. And you have the president using the power of the state to enforce that these companies uh, force their employees back into the into the workplace. Now, I, I don't know the, the follow up from this executive order, if uh, how long it's going to take to be implemented or what, or when these companies are going to start uh, producing again and or whether they will be able to force their employees back into the office. I don't know the legal standing these companies have but if it comes from the state then you can be sure that they have the law on their side it's uh, just insanity um but it shows once again that donald trump listens to big business the idea of draining the swamp was a lie he he's refilling the swamp he is the swamp monster 
at this stage. So let me know in the comments, guys, um, what you think about this. If you're in the United States, have you seen um, cases of this? Have you seen uh, how certain companies are pushing their employees back into the workplace, even though we haven't this um, uh, we don't have control over this virus yet? Let me know in the comments. As always, your comments are much appreciated. Thanks.